In this video, I'm going to show you why ChatGPT is hands down the best tool for research on the internet. And if you aren't utilizing ChatGPT right now in these techniques that I'm about to show you in this video, then you're simply falling behind because you can save hours and hours on end doing all the research you need. And there's many reasons why you might want to do research. You may want to do research for a paper that you're writing for school. You may want to do it for something scientific that you're studying. But the reason I do it is so I can get data-driven statistics and ways that have been proven to work in order to increase my business life, in order to make me healthier, in order to optimize my workouts, and much more. I'm not using this research and all of this data that I'm getting in order to write papers for school, but I'm using it to actually improve my life. I'm using it to create special diagrams that help me see things in a visual way. And I'm using it to compile information together that's going to make me more productive, more efficient, and help me engineer my life. So listen, I've got on a collared shirt and the blue light blockers for this video, so you know that I'm getting serious about this research. But before we get in, I wanted to give you an opportunity to join my ChatGPT Mastery course and community because I think and my members think that it's the best way to learn ChatGPT. So let me show you that now. Now there is a link in the top pinned comment and the description below if you'd like to join and become a part of this community and course. We have over 474 members as we speak. And within this community section here, as you can see, I'm in the community tab. We can scroll down, we can ask questions. People share their GPTs in here and they show ways that they use the teachings of the course in order to create GPTs. You can ask simple questions like, is anyone here using GPT for their professional jobs? People collaborate. I say, I sort of do. <laughs> and so on, right? The community section is great. We can start these long chat threads, interact, ask questions, and share our findings with ChatGPT. But when we head to the classroom, this is where all of the magic happens because you get access to the ChatGPT Mastery course with over 50 modules going over practically everything you need to know in order to become a master of ChatGPT. And then you won't need these little YouTube videos in order to help you because you'll be getting ideas of your own on how you can utilize this after going through each and every one of these modules. You will have ideas flowing out left and right. Now enough of the course, let's actually get into the video and how you can use ChatGPT for research in order to enhance your life and save hours of your time. Now the first thing I want to show you are a couple of GPTs that I'm going to be using in order to use ChatGPT for research because people from the community can create amazing things with these GPTs and they're available to anybody with GPT Plus in the GPT store. So I like utilizing all of my resources within ChatGPT in order to compile something really great. So the first GPT that I'm going to be showing you and that I like to use for data-driven scientific research on any subject, whether it means that I'm searching for something for my health, my workouts, my diet, uh, whatever it may be, my work efficiency, I love going to this GPT because it backs it with scientific research and it gives you papers that you can cite and actually utilize for further investigation into a subject matter. And this is going to be great, especially if you're in school and you actually need citations and papers that are backed by science. And that GPT is called Consensus. So you're going to be able to get 200 million plus academic papers from Consensus after you utilize this GPT. You can hit Start Chat down here at the bottom, and then you're going to be within this AI research assistant that's going to help you get citations and science-based answers to your questions. And I love doing this because if I'm doing something like a new workout plan, a new diet, maybe I'm trying to optimize my day for anti-aging or longevity, something very scientific, I love having the papers that help me back that what I'm doing is correct. So great, I have the GPT all ready to go. I'm ready to search some academic papers and get science-based answers, but it's kind of important to know what do I need science-based answers on. So what I've done is I've created a list of a few things that I think might need some improvement in my life. And these are things that I can get science-based answers on and do a bunch of research on before actually implementing them into my life. And I can do this all alongside ChatGPT. So things that I think might need improvement in my life are diet consistency. I do want to start intermittent fasting again because I always used to feel very, very good when I would do intermittent fasting. My workouts, I want to start optimizing my workouts for when I'm older so I can have bone and muscle longevity, gain a lot of muscle depth. And also I want to optimize my workouts around my work day in my work hours. So I want good, better, more focused work sessions. And I think all of these things things really go together and having a good schedule for each one of these things is going to dramatically affect your day and the time of day you do it as well. So now that I know that these things need improvement and optimizing, what I can do is I can go straight to the consensus search plugin and start looking for papers on each of these and start adding them to this Google Doc. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is do some research on diet consistency with intermittent fasting and also the type of diet I should be following. So the first question I'm going to ask in consensus is, is intermittent fasting good for your overall health? Let's make sure this is something that is good in the first place. So as you can see, it says intermittent fasting has been studied extensively for its potential benefits on overall health. Here's a summary of the key findings. And then it gives me one, two, three, four, five articles on how it could potentially help my overall health. So if I wanted to, I could go in here, I could click on these articles, get my citations, read the science-based answers in order to see why it's good. But overall, I think it has a really good aura around it, and I'm feeling confident that it is good for my overall health. Now that I know that it's good, let me ask another question. Let me follow up prompt and ask a question whether it's good for focus. So I can type that in. Is intermittent fasting good for focus? That's what I really want to know because I want to optimize my diet around my work and my workout. So let's see if it's good for focus. I'm going to send off that prompt and after we see if it's good for focus, when it gives us these articles about how they connect, then we can view them and we can read these scientific academic papers. So there's a couple of different findings here. It says enhanced cognitive function, improved cognitive function, mixed effects on cognitive abilities, protective effects against cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. So if I want to, I can go through and I can read all these. Just for an example, what I'll do is I'll click on this article for improved cognitive function in older adults. I'll read through it. And as you can see, consensus sets us up in a very, very nice way. We have the things here like the abstract with all of the facts, the times, the increases, what they tested on. We can click up here and get a PDF by clicking that right there. And then it will download to your computer. As we scroll down, you can get your citations, your references, and whatever else you need. And it gives you also a key takeaway, which is kind of nice. It's like a mini chat GPT for research in specific. You can even ask a research question up here. So I can go back here. I can search through all my articles. And what I do know is the intermittent fasting reduces glucose levels. And I know glucose levels make you tired and not want to work. And if I'm trying to work more, then that's something that I'm very interested in. So I can click on this research paper. I can copy the URL, head back to this. And then beneath diet consistency, I can just paste it in. So I have that as a reference. And if you're doing a paper on something like this, then it might be more beneficial to you to go down to the citations and cite this information here by hitting this cite button in the middle of the screen. But I'm not doing a research paper, I'm doing this for personal reasons, so I'm just going to paste the link of the URL. And now I can go through here and I can do the exact same things for these other guys down here. So now what I'm doing here is I'm prompting in consensus, but I'm more so talking to ChatGPT. I'm saying, based on these findings, could you create me a good workout split and anti-aging workout that optimizes for dense bone strength and longevity based on all of this information that it found here? I can send that off and consensus isn't like another version of ChatGPT, it's just a custom version of it. So you can still utilize ChatGPT's features within this GPT and it will create you what you ask for based on the research that it found. And it's going to be utilizing all of this in order to get me that workout for longevity. And now that I have the science-based workout, maybe I could just copy it to my Google Sheet or my Google Doc or wherever I'm putting this information. Okay, so I've pasted in my entire new workout schedule that I may or may not tweak. I like a little bit more intense workouts and heavier workouts, but if this is for longevity and it's based off science, then maybe I'll give it a shot. And the last thing we need is work hours, best for focus blocks. So what's the best time to work? And also what is the amount of hours that's best for focus? So I'm going to ask the consensus search another question. When is the best time for deep focus work? I'm going to send that off. And then what it's doing is it's giving me science-based answers, as I've said, and it's telling me that it's based off a chronotype and the cognitive performance, what time of day in certain individuals prefer, or what actually aligns with their chronotypes. So that's pretty advanced. And it also dives into what type of task are you completing, a complex or a simple task, and also general recommendations for work and time. And then it gave me a little list here to create an optimized schedule for deep focus work. So if you're running through a process, this GPT is wonderful because it combines the science-based answers with ChatGPT, informing schedules and doing all the things that ChatGPT is wonderful at as well. So I'm going to finish this process and get everything I need in order to optimize my work hours. And then I'll be back in order to compile all that information and create some diagrams around it as well. So within this consensus GPT, I've now labeled that I'm a morning person and it's given me my complete schedule for when the best time to work would be based on the science-based papers and answers that it gave us. So this is going to be great. And now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to try to combine everything, all my workouts, my diet that I want to do, and also my work hours, all into one ChatGPT thread. And I'm going to try to optimize a schedule based on science-based research that I just found using the consensus GPT and when the best times to do each one of these things would be based on those answers. So now I'm just going to open up a new chat in regular chat GPT-4. I'm going to head back over to my Google Doc and I'm going to copy everything that I learned, these things that I wanna improve with the science-based answers, the schedules I got finished, the workouts that I got done, and I'm going to create a weekly or a daily schedule depending on how I'm feeling after I paste this in. And it's going to be based on everything that I wanna implement. And I'm gonna have ChatGPT find me the best way to manage this. Now keep in mind when using this consensus search plugin, you don't just have to do it for diet, health, sleep, workouts. You don't just have to do it for these items, but you can do it for things like business growth as well. Researching how famous companies have implemented certain strategies to make the work-life balance more efficient. Or maybe you're into social media or copywriting or design. Whatever you're into, you can research things using consensus based around that. And if you're struggling to find consensus search academic papers on that, then research things like the psychology behind why people would click on a social media post. Those are the things in the way you have to frame your mind when utilizing research, in my opinion, is you need to find those neurological things that connect or those chemicals within your body that trigger when they see something. If you were doing social media posts, for example, or with copywriting, for example, what words do people click on and why do they click on those words? Start asking why and then find the research answers using consensus. And if you're doing a topic or a research paper on this, then consensus is probably amazing you right now, right? You can research pretty much anything, get an academic paper, citations on practically anything you need. What I've done is I've copied all of this into ChatGPT. And right now I'm just going to delete that URL that I got for that paper. And now that I have all of this information in here on things that I want to implement into my life, I can label them by number and then I can type out a prompt that's going to help me add all of these things into one schedule. So it's a very quick prompt that I've typed out and it's very simple. It says, there are three things I'm trying to optimize in my life, diet, workouts, and work hours. I want all of these things to work in harmony. Can you help me optimize what a daily schedule would look like if I start my work week and working out week on Monday? So maybe I'm just using the first day of my week, Sunday, as a rest day, going to church, you know, reading the Bible, getting optimized with God, and then I start my stuff on Monday. Well, what I've done is I've pasted in all of this information that I learned from consensus and all of the optimized things that it tells me to do, but it's just in a big jumbled mess right now, and I just pasted it in from the Google Doc. So let's get a nice refined list in chat GPT, and then later we're going to use another GPT in order to figure out how I can start tracking all of these metrics, and we're going to get a visual diagram showing how I can do that from the whimsical GPT in the future. But first I'm going to send this off, get an optimized schedule, and then I can edit the schedule if I need to. And as you can see, ChatGPT gave me my schedule for basically the entire week. It gave me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But what I want it to do is I want it to split the task and I want it to do one day at a time because when you split tasks in ChatGPT and you tell it to do one thing at a time, what it does is it goes more in depth and more in detail because it's not expanding its token limit on each day. And what it's going to do is give you a much better response. So I'm going to change my prompt a little bit. I'm going to go down here. This is a good example, by the way, and hit this edit button on my prompt. And if I scroll up here, after I ask my question, I'm going to mention to ChatGPT and be specific that I only want one day created. That way it goes very in depth on everything I need to do in a certain day. And then I can implement that and change it out for other days as well. So adding this sentence is going to dramatically help that answer be more in depth and actually a lot more helpful because right now it's very short, it just says evening, and then it just starts getting into little bullet points, morning routine, work hours, lunch and relaxation. So it's not really going very in depth. I just want it to go in depth on a certain day. So I'm gonna say only complete what Monday's schedule would look like in depth. I only want one day, that way ChatGPT can focus all of its energy into that one day. And then I can go down here and I can hit save and submit. And then it will regenerate that response to only do Monday. And now, as you can see, it gives me a much better schedule. It goes through my morning routine. It takes its time. It goes through my work hours, my midday, my late afternoon and my evening routine. And it uses up all of that information in one prompt rather than trying to cram seven days in this single output. So this is much better. And keep in mind, you don't only have to do this for schedules, but you can do this for compiling all the information that you learned from consensus. This step is meant to help compile and refine your information into one solid essay, one solid 
finding or research that you've done, adding your own ideas, and it's just making it more structured rather than having everything crammed in that sloppy Google Doc. But now you can actually move on. And if you want to push this a step further and you want to get visual diagrams for your research and find out ways that you can track certain items within your research, then I highly recommend you stick around because we're going to use the whimsical GPT after asking ChatGPT all of the items that we could track. And then we're going to get an outline for how we can track those, when we can track them, where we can store those items, how we can store those items. So it's going to get kind of advanced, but it's going to get very fun. And we're going to learn how we can actually track all of this in order to make sure that we're staying on top of everything. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing I really want to do is figure out what's trackable within this routine. I really like this routine. I like how it goes through my morning peaked cognitive performance that we learned from the consensus GPT. Keep in mind, we're no longer there. We're just in the regular GPT-4 model. But what it's doing is it's taking all that science-based answers and implementing them into a schedule that I really like. Now, I might want to push this back to 6.30 rather than 5.30. 5.30 is a little early for me. I'm still young, got to get my sleep. But what I want to do right now is figure out everything that can be tracked within this routine. So that's what I'm going to ask ChatGPT is what can be tracked in this routine to make sure I am staying on top of everything. I can send that off. And take a look at this. It's giving all the tracking elements that I could implement into this schedule based on the research-based answer. So it's saying fasting hours, food intake, hydration, feelings and energy levels, and it's giving me optimization for workouts, work hours, general well-being and mood, and it's even giving me tools for certain tracking. But we're not really going to use these tools right yet. What we're going to do is we're going to copy all of these trackable items in ChatGPT, starting with the diet and intermittent fasting, I'm going to hit Control C. You can also right click your mouse and hit copy, or if you're on your phone, you can hold down that text after you have it highlighted and hit uh, copy response or copy output in your ChatGPT app. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my sidebar, select Explore GPTs, close my sidebar, and then search the Whimsical Diagrams plugin. It's already up top because I use it so much. So I'm going to select Whimsical Diagrams, and then I'm going to hit start chat. And what I'm going to do is I want to create a flow chart and a workflow on how I can actually track this, where I can store it. And I want to see this in a visual way, because if you're a visual learner like me, you love diagrams, you love flow charts, and you love mind maps in order to visualize your information. So that's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to paste in all of this stuff. And then I'm going to give a prompt after I sort out the output a little bit, clean it up, make sure ChatGPT isn't getting confused. I've got my workouts right beneath that. And then beneath that, I have my work hours and productivity. And then also general well being and mood. So, what I did is I typed out one sentence. And trust me when I say this one sentence is going to be very powerful when generating this diagram. So, it says, generate me a flowchart or diagram of all of the items I need to track, when I should track them, and where I should track them. And finally, how. I should track them. So I want the when, I want the where, I want the how, and I just want everything compiled into a visual diagram. And remember what I've done is I've pasted in all of those items that I need tracked. And all of these items that I need tracked, I got generated from ChatGPT. And those items tracked were based on science-based answers that I got from the consensus GPT. So we're going down this huge loop and we're utilizing ChatGPT to its maximum potential by just using a couple of GPTs in the regular GPT-4 model. I'm going to send off this message and it's quite a long prompt, but wait until you see what the whimsical diagram looks like after it generates this huge flowchart for us. If you're a visual learner, as I said, this is going to be very helpful to you. And not only is it going to give us a flowchart or a diagram that's native to ChatGPT, but it's also going to give you a link that you can click on and you can actually edit this flowchart diagram yourself. So this is the first draft that it gave us. And what it did is it broke everything down into a tracking database mind map. And it did this all in about 10 to 15 seconds. I can view and edit this diagram in Whimsical. And as you can see right now, the only thing that it didn't do is show me where I should be tracking these items. So that's something I could either add on my own or I could try to revise it within ChatGPT and see if it can help me actually add that storing location. Now that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you want to learn ChatGPT to its maximum potential fully in depth so you can start coming up with these workflows on your own and not just waiting for me to come out with them, I highly recommend joining my ChatGPT mastery course and community, which I will be leaving in the link in the description or the top end comment below. I usually leave it in both, so be on the lookout for that. And with that being said, I hope to see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe, comment your thoughts below letting me know. Are you going to utilize this workflow? What needs to be improved? And how are you currently utilizing these GPTs?
All right, I'll see you in the next video.